Hi, my name is Dan, and I work with the FMS Advanced Systems Group. Welcome to our introduction to social network analysis using Sentinel Visualizer. So what is social network analysis? It's the science of using network theory to construct, view, and analyze social networks. Entities, such as people, are graphed along with their connections. The resulting graph can be measured in various ways through SNA metrics to find interesting things about a network. SNA allows you to ask questions like, how highly connected is an entity? What is an entity's overall importance? How central is the entity? And how does information flow within a network? The first social network analysis metric that we'll look at is degree centrality. Degree centrality is simply the number of direct relationships that an entity has. An entity with high degree centrality is generally an active player within the network and can be considered a connector or hub. However, degree centrality does not necessarily identify the most connected or the most important entity in a network. For example, an entity may have a large number of relationships, the majority of which point to low-level entities. Let's see how that works in Sentinel Visualizer. Here I'm using Sentinel Visualizer to look at a complex network. The entities consist of people, places, organizations, and other data points. The lines represent the relationships that are the linkages between the entities. Even though I can look at the chart and visually acquire what I think are the most centrally connected players, the number of overlapping lines makes it difficult, if not impossible, to actually accurately gauge the centrality of nodes. That's where social network analysis comes in. I'm going to click on Degree Centrality. Sentinel Visualizer automatically calculates the degree centrality of every node on the network. It shows nodes with a low value in yellow and nodes with a high value in red. This makes it very easy for me to see who are the most central players according to degree centrality within the network. Now let's look at closeness centrality. Closeness centrality measures how quickly an entity can access more entities in a network. An entity with high closeness generally has quick access to other entities within a network. It also has a short path to other entities, is close to other entities, and potentially has high visibility as to what is happening in the network. Let's see closeness versus degrees in Sentinel Visualizer. Calculating closeness is as easy as pressing the closeness button. As with degree centrality, Sentinel Visualizer automatically calculates the closeness value for each entity on the chart. Low values are shown in yellow, high values are shown in red. We can also change any of the colors that we want. For example, if I wanted the low value to be blue, I simply select that, and I've now changed my color scheme. It's very easy to go back. We can also switch between the two values to quickly see the difference in the network based on centrality. For example, degrees is the number of connections. Closeness are the entities that have the shorter path to other entities. Between the centrality identifies an entity's position within a network in terms of that entity's ability to make connection to other pairs or groups in a network. If an entity has a high betweenness value, it generally holds a favored or powerful position within the network. It also represents a single point of failure. If you take the single betweenness entity out of a network, you sever ties between groups or cliques of entities. Betweenness centrality also identifies a greater amount of influence over what happens in a network. Eigenvalue is perhaps one of the most interesting social network analysis values. It measures how close an entity is to other highly close entities within a network. In other words, eigenvalue identifies the most central entities in terms of the global or overall makeup of the network. A node with a high eigenvalue generally indicates an actor that is more central to the main pattern of distances among all entities. It's also a reasonable measure of one aspect of centrality in terms of positional advantage. We like to think of eigenvalue as, show me the highly valuable players who are linked to other highly valuable players within the network. Let's see both closeness and eigenvalue in action in Sentinel Visualizer. As with the other values in social network analysis, they're just a mouse click away with Sentinel Visualizer. We can go between closeness, 
between this eigenvalue and also show other variations of social network analysis centrality, including hub and authority. Additionally, user-supplied values like entity weight and entity value can be brought into the equation to show customized values according to your data set. In this brief video, I've only scratched the surface of what social network analysis can provide. With SNA, you can analyze and visualize complex data to discover central players, patterns, and trends. To learn more about how you can apply these powerful tools to your data, please visit us on the web. You can learn more about social network analysis or request a free evaluation copy of Sentinel Visualizer. Thanks.